In the last video, I showed you how you can change a number into a variable to make a specific aspect of what you see change over time. So now let's try and do an application of that. Let's say that I want, let's, let's look at it. Let's say that I want whenever I hold the mouse down, I want the ellipse to slowly get bigger, but only when I'm holding the mouse down. How do we do that? Well, if I want the ellipse to slowly get bigger, I know I have to change these two numbers. So I'm going to create a variable up here called ellipse size, e size. Inside setup, I'll set e size to start at 10, so it'll start kind of small. And then here, for the width, I'm going to use e size, and for the height, I'm going to use e size. All right, so so far, since the number inside e size isn't changing, nothing's actually going to change. It just is a small circle. So what I want to do is I want th these numbers to get bigger whenever I hold the mouse down. So you remember last time there's a command if mouse pressed equals true. And this is true exactly when I'm pressing down the mouse. Um, be careful, it should be two equal signs because we're asking is it true, yes or no. Okay, so what do we want to do? I don't actually want to draw the ellipse inside here. If I drew the ellipse inside here, that's like saying only draw the ellipse when my mouse is being pressed. Um, but I want to actually draw the ellipse all the time. So here you'll see when I run it, here it's not being drawn, and then as soon as I click, you see it getting drawn. That's not what I want. I want to draw the ellipse all the time. I just want it to get bigger when I hold the mouse. So in order to get bigger, I know these numbers need to get bigger, and so that's what I'm going to put inside the if statement. If the mouse is being pressed, let's make e size bigger. So we'll, let's say e size equals e size plus 3. So what that means is, as long as I'm not pressing the mouse, this isn't running. And so draw is running in a loop, and every time we draw the ellipse, the number inside here is still 10, and it will never change. But then as soon as we start pressing the mouse, then we start changing the number inside the variable. And so each time we draw the ellipse, this number is a little bit bigger, which means the ellipse draws a little bit bigger. So let's take a look. So there it is, but when I hold the mouse down, now it's growing, and now I let go and it stopped. Now it's growing, I let go and it stopped. Now it's growing, I let go and it stopped. If you want to, you could combine that together with some other stuff we've learned. So let's make it centered at mouse x, mouse y. So now I know the center of the mouse is moving, uh, sorry, the center of the ellipse is moving with our mouse coordinate, but the size it gets drawn at is whatever number's inside here, and that changes whenever we click. So here you see it's moving, but then if I hold the key down, now it's growing bigger while it's moving. Okay, so what's the takeaway from this video? One takeaway is the idea that you can change what's inside your variable whenever you press the mouse. And you can have whatever variable you want in here. You could have more than one variable. And you can use those variables to control any of the things we've seen so far. You could control the color, you could control the mouse center, you could control the mouse size. Um, another big takeaway is just practicing this idea of thinking in terms of variables. Uh, maybe this wasn't obvious when you took Algebra 1, but this is what Algebra 1 is all about. Uh, the whole idea of Algebra is you're doing things with a number, but you don't actually know what number it is, because that's what a variable is. Um, but it doesn't actually matter that you don't know what number it is, because you can just imagine it's some number, and you can imagine that number having some particular effect, depending on how you use it. So, like, really, this is kind of Algebra 1, straight up, right now in Java. Okay, come back in the next video and I'll show you how to use the keyboard to control things.